This is the time of year when many of our woodworking members are building small projects for our Christmas fair. And here is an example of a pencil holder. A member was working on a SketchUp model and having trouble doing the miter joints with the rounding over and therefore asked how that could be done in SketchUp. I'll show one method here. There are many ways of doing this and I won't say this is necessarily the best or the fastest but it does accomplish the result and solves the problem of that miter joint. So I've created just a half of a side and I'll go ahead and install the groove for the bottom of the pencil holder. That's a 1 8 by 1 8 groove and that's simply done with the push-pull tool. Now at, uh, on the upper edge We've got several things going on. First of all, I'll just go ahead and put a miter joint in here with the line tool just going over one quarter by one quarter. And then using the push-pull tool with the control key pushed and that creates this uh, miter joint however it's not cleaned up yet. I don't want to clean it up yet until I get a round over up here in the in the top. I'll come down an eighth of an inch, draw a line and pick the arc tool and draw a half circle on the top edge as well. And again with the push-pull tool and the control key, tapping the control key or the option key on the Mac, uh, creating that round over. Well, at this point, I need to run and intersect faces with selection, and the rest is handled with the eraser tool to clean out the waste. Knock out some corners. Those are the easy cleanup areas. And we got to knock out the miter joint here. That'll take a few swipes with the eraser tool. And there may be a few feathers out here that need cleaning. And down at the bottom, around the groove. Okay, now do I have a, I'm not sure I've got a face here or not. Oh, let me, re oh that, I don't have a face. So let me recreate that face. Just tracing over one edge. Now I can reverse faces and come back here and reverse faces at this point. So that gives me one miter joint and half of a side. And I can look at this. Well, yeah, I'll delete that edge. And again, I get a reversed face situation. Fix that. Let me copy this whole half side, smooth edges, knocking out those edges that shouldn't be there on the round over, then selecting the half and tapping the control key, pushing a copy over on the green axis and then 
flip along green. Bring that back to the midpoint joint. Corner to corner. And I should be able to just delete all those extra edges in the middle to create a clean, complete side of the pencil holder. Select that middle, hit delete key, and if I turn on x-ray I can see that all those edges have been cleaned up. So I've got a, both minor joints on each end Let's make this a component called side. And copy some more sides to complete the box structure. Bring a copy over on the red axis and flip along red and then I let me just rotate that into position. Rotate it. I'm just using the move tool, copy move tool, bring that over and connect it at the miter joint. And I could do different several things here. Let me just copy both of these sides at once, bring a copy out on the red axis and I could rotate or let me try flipping, flip on the red and flip on the green and I get an orientation that works. Bring that set back in to close up the box. And that, the only thing we need here is a quarter inch thick bottom slab that fits in the grooves. That would be really easy to do. Here we can see back edges. It looks like a clean uh, connection of all the miter joints with no edges that should be erased and it's just a matter of creating a rectangular space for the bit bottom.